Hey everybody, this is Brian from TMB Homesteading. I want to give you the update for the midsize grow tent and show you all the seedlings for our squash and the tomatoes that are still remaining in the tent and all the lettuce we have growing in here. Let me grab the camera. As you can see from the distance here, we've got a lot of growth. With these lights, these, uh, these T10 lights that I put back in here, these LEDs, look at this lettuce. I mean, that's incredible growth. I mean, this one up here had gotten so big that it was hitting the light, and so we harvested it first last week, and you can tell it's already regrown a huge amount since that harvest. But these down here, we're gonna be eating these. You know, one of these trays, we get two meals easily off one tray, you know, Paul and I eating off of this for our nightly meals. So, I mean, we've got, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I mean, and then we still got a regrow tray here that's got enough for at least, you know, a full-size meal. And then these were cut earlier last week, but they don't get as much light down there, but you can still see they've regrown pretty well down underneath there because they don't really have as much of this white light getting to them, but it does get to them. I mean, like this one here is a little bit lower and you can see that it really helps that take off and grow back. But since this one's a little higher, you'll notice that this one here doesn't really have the regrowth in the front that this one does where that white light's hitting it. So eventually, when these LEDs burn out, I'm just gonna get a bunch of these uh, these T10 type lights, except maybe I'll get like a couple of two-footers, you know, and put two two-footers in each of these top grow bays up here. And that'll be, you know, plenty of light. I mean, I don't think I really have to have the other LEDs in there to get this growth. Because I mean, the biggest growth you'll notice is like right here in the front. And then back there it gets a little bit less. So I'm, re I'm really happy with how the uh, this white light works for salad greens. And these things, I mean, I've had these things, God, I, bet, I bet I bought these four years ago. These are the same lights that I have in my garage. I use these as my shop lights inside my garage. I guess I can go rip those out of my garage, but then, you know, Paul would probably get mad. <laughs> I'd get mad too because I like having my light in my garage for my projects up door upstairs. Anyway, here's the uh, the squash. You can see there, they're all popping up and looking good. That's the Matt's Wild Cherry Tomatoes. They're all doing good. And uh, I reseeded two of those with little cherry tomatoes. And they've uh, they popped up and they're already about two inches tall. So I'm happy that I'm going to have ten of those for a total of my uh, cherry tomatoes this year. And in the back, back there, you can see there's some more squash. It's really, really taken off. And so uh, I believe next week I'll probably transplant these tomatoes into the five inch pots, put those into the large grow tent, and then I'll take the squash and I'll up pot those into the uh, five inch pots. And that way I'll have everything transplanted and ready to go for spring. And they'll really be able to expand their roots and they won't become root bound and uh, start cross rooting in between these little two inch pots. Cause these are just fibrous cow manure pots. And then, you know, the roots will just start spreading across each other. And then it's, you know, I don't like to disturb my uh, squash roots because they do not like to have their roots touched. I guess that's one of the things about squash. Tomatoes are really good about, you know, having, you know, their stalks where if you bury them deep, they'll actually re start, you know, sprouting new roots off that, uh, that stalk as you bury it down. But squash, you start messing with those and pulling them apart and tearing their roots, they never seem to recover from that. And they're always a little kind of anemic for a while. But anyway, everything else in the tent's going well. I mean, we've got tons of lettuce production and we're eating salads every night. Okay, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I did, I was outdoors and getting wet and loving it. All right, talk to you guys again, bye. Hey everybody, this is Brian again from the PNB Homesteading. Uh...